As of November 11th, Lake Mead's water level stands at approximately 1,061.04 feet above sea level. This is 167.96 feet below the full pool level of 1,229 feet, showing a slight decline from October, but still below what's typically expected for this time of year. Compared to November 2023, we're seeing a continued decrease, highlighting an ongoing downward trend in Lake Mead's water levels over recent years. Lake Mead's water level primarily depends on inflows from the Colorado River, which supplies over 96% of the reservoir's water. Unfortunately, 2024 has seen below-average inflows. A key factor is reduced snowpack in the Rocky Mountains, which usually feeds the river during spring and summer. By April 2024, snowpack levels reached only, insert percentage here, of the historical average, limiting meltwater that would normally flow into Lake Mead. Drought conditions across the western United States remain severe, contributing to Lake Mead's low levels. A recent study from Insert Organization, if available, confirms that 2024 ranks as one of the driest years on record for the Colorado River Basin. This prolonged drought has significantly lowered levels in both Lake Mead and Lake Powell, the two main reservoirs for the Colorado River. The low water levels are impacting Hoover Dam's hydroelectric generation. Currently, the turbines operate at approximately insert full capacity due to reduced water pressure. If Lake Mead's water level falls below 895 feet, known as the Deadpool level, the dam would be unable to generate power. Today, Lake Mead is insert feet above 895 feet, above this critical threshold, but the risk remains if levels continue to decline. Demand from Lake Mead remains high. Water is allocated to Nevada, Arizona, California, and Mexico. In 2024, restrictions helped reduce usage slightly, but the cumulative drawdown is still substantial. For instance, California consumes roughly in statistic of the total allocation, with Nevada and Arizona collectively accounting for insert percentage. Looking ahead, experts predict that Lake Mead's water level could drop by another insert estimated feet by December 2024. The Bureau of Reclamation's forecast indicates a insert probability chance of further reductions in 2025 if rainfall remains low. Water shortage implications. If levels continue to decline, mandatory water cuts may increase in 2025 under Tier 3 shortage conditions. These restrictions would bring more stringent conservation measures, impacting agriculture, municipal supplies, and industry across the southwestern United States. Negotiations among the seven states reliant on the Colorado River are ongoing, with complex discussions on water management intensifying. Legal challenges could arise if agreements aren't reached by 2026, as states argue over responsibility for water cuts. California, Arizona, and Nevada in the lower basin have faced the brunt of water cuts due to evaporation and transport loss, while states in the upper basin, like Wyoming, Colorado, and Utah, face pressure to take on additional cuts. The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation has delayed an environmental impact statement originally set for December, likely affecting federal involvement in water management decisions. Disagreements between states are common. In 2023, six basin states united for a water conservation proposal, while California presented a separate plan. Tensions also exist within states, particularly in California, where a proposal to allocate more water to southern cities and farmers faces environmental opposition. As of November 11, 2024, Lake Mead's water level is critically low due to drought, reduced inflows, and high demand. With water scarcity expected to persist, stricter water management measures may become necessary in the coming years. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Exploration Earth for ongoing updates on Lake Mead and other environmental issues.